at the end of the day, I like for a student to be thinking about two questions while they're taking the class. I like them to be thinking about why chemical reactions happen and how chemical reactions happen. Because if you can think about those two things, why something is happening and how something is happening, you know a lot of chemistry. I think it's a, a portal class to a lot of other science courses. Yep. So in addition to preparing you for specific classes, I think it prepares you how to study science, how to work problems, how to keep tackling something again and again and again, even if you're not able to be successful, you learn that persistence. And then once you get success, then you yeah. learn the types of things you need to do to teach yourself science. Critical thinking skill. That's right. Problem solving skills. Those are the things that they'll, they'll learn. From and we'll transfer to lots of other courses besides just chemistry. We always get really motivated students, very diverse background. A lot of them came from different places around the world. They just really interesting um, to interact with. We always have lunch with students throughout summer, so we, we get to learn about each other a lot. And I think that makes the learning more enjoyable for them as well. Every year we have a contest, and the contest is the chemistry summer t-shirt contest. Students submit the design and we get them you know, to vote pick the winning design. And then we produce uh, a t-shirt that uh, we all wear then on the final exam. Yep, it's really cool. We also do liquid nitrogen ice cream. That's right, we do. Last day, we make and eat liquid nitrogen ice cream. It's about 10,000 calories. <laughs> per serving. Per serving. <laughs> but it's the most delicious ice cream ever. That's correct. <laughs>